So today's video is really a two for one. Not only will we go over the remaining core collection items I have in, we'll actually go over some comparisons for those items versus some older ones because I didn't notice a big difference in the sweats I got. However, there is a difference to me in the weight of a crew neck, just slightly, but certainly in the length of the sweat shorts. So we will absolutely go over both of those items with a side-by-side -side comparison, just so you can understand what I mean. But we have a special unboxing, at least for me. I chose to gift myself a Fear of God sneaker that released in 2019, just to celebrate what an amazing year 2021 has been creatively. So with that being said, let's dive in. We have a low key all over white box. It is textured with fear of God on the side and front. And as you can see, the box reads skate mid sneaker, black new bug, 3M toe. And this is a size 39. Each shoe will come with its own individual dust bag, which is great for preservation. We have a well-constructed and simple, but classic design with an all new buck upper, Fear of God stamped on the back of a rather thick midsole, and then you have an interior that's lined with leather for both the actual lining itself, the inside of the tongue, and the sock liner that's stamped with Fear of God. Hands down, it's a higher quality sneaker than what we may be used to for Jordan, Nike, or Adidas. And you also have the 3M that pops just along the inner part of the toe box to add an extra bit of shine to the sneaker itself. The laces that come stocked for the sneaker are black as well, but you will have lace locks that are chrome with fear of God on the front. And I would actually use those to put the laces through and actually drape them on top of the velcro strap that goes across the front this is a size 39 which is higher than what i would normally get being true to size in a six so you can do the conversion of a 39 to an adult uh, us size which would actually be a men seven so a little bit larger i actually do have crease protectors on the inside of the toe just to ensure that this sneaker is protected but in terms of fit, the seven works. Um, the leather sock liner is really, really nice and comfortable on foot while being worn. And in terms of comfort, I would give this maybe an eight out of 10. So it's not quite gonna be an MA2 or a V1 uh, or even the Fear of God one, but it is a comfortable sneaker that provides pop with that 3M along the inner part of the toe box. Finally, another first for the collection, a Fear of God mainline sneaker and the Skate Mid. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back. Another video talks with TJ, aka TJ2 Swoosh T Yeezy MA2 TJ T Essentials. And this is absolutely an Essentials video, top to bottom, but also really just a Fear of God video because you guys just saw me unbox doing on foot for the Fear of God mid skate in the black nubuck colorway that also features 3M around the toe box, or I should say right within that toe box. Now this, yes, other sneakers have just dropped. If you are up to date on Fear of God's website, they dropped other sneakers uh, right now for the holiday season. So if you would like to go purchase those, awesome. I picked these up off eBay because eBay is bay and it's actually a place to find quite a few pairs. You may just, all, you, first off, you always have to just check on the quality uh, of them just because heel drag, other things may be of a concern to you. This is a used pair, funny enough. They were listed at 275, but they're in amazing condition. Came with the original box and the dust bag but I best offer 250 and they accept it, ship them off immediately. I mean, super fast ship shipping, great customer service and experience with this seller. Uh, so no complaints there whatsoever. Got the pair in and they were everything I expected them to be. Quality is wild. I mean, the leather interior for the lining, the actual insole is leather too. The liner, the sock liner um, is leather. You also have the insole is leather. I mean, you can tell the quality and the craft ship through and through on this pair. I can understand the higher price tag, but I'm also 
okay with paying the 250 for this because this is better quality than what I would get for even paying like let's say 225 or something for a Jordan retro that releases that's just my personal opinion and I wanted to have a fear of God sneaker in the collection that wasn't a collaboration all of the other pairs I have they're collaborative pairs whether it be with Nike or with Converse with the skid grip uh, so now I have just the fear of God sneaker and absolutely happy to have it now let's break into the core collection so as you guys know i already did a video on part of the core collection that came in from essence the long sleeve shirts which shout out to them for giving me a bonus long sleeve shirt don't think they did that on purpose but then also the sweat so all three of those items i guess we could say were in the dark oatmeal heather colorway same with the shirt you guys see me wearing here this is also the dark heather oatmeal so for the fear of god order i picked up the short sleeve t-shirt in a size small i picked up the sweat shorts in a size small as well and then the crew neck and the lighter heather oatmeal so three items technically i paid for five received six we will never complain about that and fear of god shipped relatively fast but i know there's a lot of feedback and questions regarding the core collection is it the same weight is it the same quality does it fit the same for a lot of you first off you hate the fact that the back pocket is gone on the pants we've already discussed that in a previous video but a lot of you feel that it fits looser or it fits bigger um just in relation to past items i will say this looking at the shorts there is a difference in the length of the shorts okay so for the sweat shorts the black pair that you guys are able to see they're from last year literally i received those as a birthday gift so those were from last year and you can see the length of those on me again i'm i'm wearing a small for size reference i'm 5'6 127 pounds and then you guys are able to see the brand new core collection shorts in a size small as well in the dark heather oatmeal and if you look they are absolutely shorter in length maybe by an inch or so which I don't have an issue with because for well for one I'm a woman I've never had an issue with wearing shorts above the knee um men I know that may be something you don't care for but a lot of you have come around with current styles and you don't mind having shorts that come above the knee quite frankly I think it's a better look that's just my personal opinion but they will come a little bit higher above the knee than last year's sweat shorts I think that's a great change up I don't know if it was intentional but I appreciate the change up so if you get your sweat shorts in and you feel that hey they feel a little bit shorter well no you're not like you're not crazy there yes at least mine fit a little bit shorter now when we're looking at the crew neck uh side by side i actually held one up and i even asked my mom i was like hey tell me if the weight of these are the same and the light heather oatmeal from the core collection she said just felt slightly lighter not by a lot slightly lighter and i i will say when it comes to the crew neck at least yes it's a little bit lighter in weight does that take away from the overall appeal of it no it doesn't for me quite honestly there are times where i won't layer or won't wear a coat in the winter because i don't want to be overly hot if i'm already wearing a fleece um top whether it be a crew neck or a hoodie so yes it is slightly on the lighter side which would mean maybe they didn't use the same weight you know ounces uh for the fleece material used for the core collection take from that what you will i don't know that that will bother everybody it may bother some for some people if they're paying that 80 dollars, 90 dollars, they want all of the quality they've had in the past or at least everything to feel the same i think it's that people just they know what to expect so if something has changed or it's different now they don't really care for it but you you guys can see how the small fits on me side by side with one of the earlier crew necks i picked up in the gray colorway or the heather oatmeal as well dark heather oatmeal sorry just to not to confuse you you can see uh one of the crew necks i picked up and that has the essentials on the back you're seeing the lighter heather oatmeal and that has of course the smaller print on the front so just to give you a size reference and you guys are able to see also um just some simple ways to style the fear of god mid skate of course it's first off it doesn't have branding on it other than fear of god which means you can truly rock it with adidas apparel jordan apparel nike apparel new balance i don't think it matters because it's a totally different brand truly i guess it would be considered luxury versus you rocking it with a sportswear brand i guess if we're being technical so I have every intention to wear it with tons of essential stuff, but I think I would also integrate it into some of the um, Nike Fear of God collection pieces that I have. And yes, it's it's not lost on me that Jerry debuted one of his first pieces for the Fear of God Athletics. He went to a Lakers game. 
they are struggling right now but he went to a lakers game and he had on the yellow adidas hoodie uh with adidas and then fear of god underneath of course you have criticism from everywhere some love it some hate it some think it's the same old thing it just has adidas slapped on it either way here's the beauty you don't have to buy it if you don't like it if you like it I'm pretty sure he's dropping a lot on us either in January or in February. So I would just get your coins together now. That way you're prepared to buy whatever it is you want to purchase from the Fear of God Athletics debut. And for me, we know, yeah, I'm going to buy just a lot so no shame there and i'm not apologizing for that uh but hopefully you guys enjoyed the just unboxing of the fear of god skate mid in the black new book colorway i'm happy to own this and i actually intend to go back for some other pairs i actually have another pair in my cart on one of the sites too um, one of the secondary sites and you can you can shop for them on poshmark ebay of course StockX, and goat it just depends on if you can find your size at a reasonable price and based on the condition if that's something you're willing to pay for and then i also intend like i said already go after fear got athletics so thank you again so much for tuning in go ahead and comment below did you uh experience any changes in fit or weight for the core collection in comparison to a lot of other items you've picked up from other releases i am curious to know i thank you for tuning in and as always actor age not your shoe size peace